might be noticing that I'm wearing some new body armor and different color camouflage today. And that's mainly because we got some great feedback from someone saying the black doesn't do the black guns justice. So today here you can see nice and easily against this camo, the Golden Eagle G36. So the G36 is known for how robust these things are. It's a very lightweight carbine, so it's gonna get you easily into battle quickly. It's made from a very lightweight but very strong polymer, so it's not gonna tire you out holding this thing around. And because of features like the foldable stock, it's a very nice compact carbine this is, so it's gonna be perfect for your CQB and also your woodland play as well. So what have we got included in the box with the G36 then? So this particular model of the G36 comes with a battery and a charger included, which is awesome to get you straight into battle. So as mentioned, we've got the lovely robust G36 itself. You have a nice 400 round high cap magazine and as mentioned out of the box you've got your battery and the charger which means as soon as you pick this gun up you can get yourself going. You've then got your unjamming rod and a handful of BBs. So what's the key features of the G36 then? So the great feature about the stock here is it's actually foldable and adjustable as well. So as you can see you've got a little button underneath which you press in to extend but then you've also got the option to fold the stock with the little button on the left hand side here pressing that in allows you to fold all the way around. Giving you that lovely compact style for your CQB here. Along the top of the G36, you've got a nice long Picatinny rail for all of your attachments and sights. Whilst we're focusing on the top rail in here, we've got your fixed place iron sight at the front and the back, which just allows you to get going straight from the box. As well as underneath the barrel here, you've got a short Picatinny rail for all of the other attachments. Your selector switch is in your standard safe, semi and full automatic, and it's an actual ambidextrous control, so you've got a control on the right hand side, as well as on the left hand side. And you've got a little trigger just here to release the magazine. And then finally, the position of the battery is found in the handguard. Really easy to remove this, you've got a little pin on the right hand side, which first of all you just need to push in, allowing you to slide the handguard forward, and expose the battery. The good thing being with this is you've got a load of room there for any style batteries. Okay, so we're gonna give you a little demo of how to load this thing. So as always, we're starting with some really high quality BBs from Flashbang Airsoft, and these are 0.2 gram. As mentioned, it's a high cap magazine, so no need for a speed loader. You've got a little compartment that you just need to open up at the top first, tip your BBs in, wind your wheel at the bottom until you start feeling a bit of resistance, and then insert the magazine into the G36. So what we're gonna do, take the G36 over to the range, we're gonna test the power, accuracy, and we're gonna look at what the FPS comes out at. So some high 290s in there, some 300s, which is pretty decent. All right then, so first of all, we're gonna go for the semi-automatic. Now we're moving on to the full auto. watching the review guys make sure to like and subscribe to our channel we'll be back with loads more airsoft reviews like this one until the next review we'll see you soon